Hi, great to have you back. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you've watched my previous videos, you will know today we're going to look at the higher T exam questions for osmosis. They are more challenging questions, so you can pause at this point and try and have a go at them and see how many marks you manage to gain. Let's recap the two diagrams. Diagram A shows a cell in a hypotonic solution and diagram B shows a cell in a hypertonic solution. Here we have diagram A, which is hypotonic. All key factors associated with hypotonic is that water moves into the cell. The cell can then expand and become turgid. Here's diagram B for hypertonic. Hypertonic means water can move out of the cell. The cell will shrink and the key word we use is flaccid. And remember, this is for a plant cell. For the question, explain what happened to the plant cell in diagram B. Diagram B of the plant cell showed a hypertonic solution. In a hypertonic concentration, we have an increased concentration of solute and a decreased concentration of water. That then means that water will leave the cell. It also means it will do this through a process of osmosis, which means it will go from a high concentration of water to an area of low concentration of water. All this will happen across a partially permeable membrane. And when it does this, the cell will shrink. We've now put all these key points into some sentences to gain the four marks. We can see how it does that, so by osmosis, water goes from a region or an area of high water concentration to an area of low water concentration. We mentioned how it does that, so it does that across a partially permeable membrane. The effect this has is that it makes the cell shrink. This question is worth four marks. It needs four key points. We have more than four points here. Water leaves the cell by osmosis from an area of high water concentration to low water concentration and across a partially permeable membrane. We have also mentioned the cell shrinks, which is great, but we only need four points out of the five here. In the next question, animal cells also change when placed in different solutions. Some red blood cells put in hypotonic solution. Describe what would happen to these red blood cells and explain why this is different from what happened to the plant cell in diagram A. And again, this is worth four marks. This time, the question is about animal cells and hypotonic solution. Or well, if we think about hypotonic, we can remember that this has less concentration of solute and more concentration of water. This means that the water will enter the cell. It will do this by the process of osmosis. Because this is a animal cell, this will make the left cell burst or cause lysis. The cell would burst or go through lysis because an animal cell does not have a cell wall which a plant cell does so it cannot protect the cell from bursting. We put all of these in sentences for our four marks. We should first write that the water enters the cell by osmosis we can also say that the cell expands and bursts or goes through lysis. And we can say 
that it's different from what happens to a plant cell because it doesn't have rent it from bursting. So the four marks would be to recognise water enters the cell, recognise it does this by osmosis, recognise the words burst or lysis to do with animal cells and be able to recognise that the animal cell does not have a cell wall which makes the cell burst. The linking words for today are hypertonic, isotonic and hypotonic. We think of hypertonic, we should think of high solute concentration, hyper meaning high, iso, we should think of equal solute and water, hypo, we should think of low solute concentration. If we think of high solute concentration for hyper, we know the water would be opposite, so it's low water concentration. And if we're thinking of low solute concentration, we would know that water is the opposite of that. So in high pour, it would be high water concentration. Thank you for watching. Join me on my next video on active transport. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.